Well, good morning, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, this is uh, a video where I'm gonna show you the Cricut machine. I've been calling it the Cricut machine because that's how it's spelled, C-R-I-C-U-T, but apparently you pronounce it Cricut. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to need to cut something out on the Cricut machine, and I thought this was a great opportunity to turn the video camera on and show you what this thing is all about. So I haven't actually yet used my, my airbrush system uh, in anger yet, but I'm gonna, hoping to uh, actually start training with it today. Uh, now I've got this little spray painting booth and I've got this, uh, this kind of lazy Susan thing uh, that you can sit your pieces on and turn them around as you spray them. Now, the thing is I don't want to get over spray uh, on this. I want to keep it as clean as I can. So I've decided I'm going to uh, cut out a piece of card or paper uh, so that I can put it on here. And I mean, I could quite easily do that with scissors and a piece of card, but I thought I'll do it on the Cricut machine. There we go, Cricut machine. And that way I can demonstrate to you uh, how this thing works and it just makes a much neater job of things. So we need a piece of card that is obviously circular and is 192 millimeters. Okay, so this is the Crycut design space. This is the, uh, the program uh, that comes with the uh, Crycut machine. It's a free program. I think you can buy an upgraded version of it. I think I've subscribed to uh, this thing for a year. Um, and it's got all these different projects and each, each week it puts new projects on. And you can just click on a project and make that project um, if you like, or you can do your own. Now today I'm going to be doing my own project. Uh, so you, you end up with this, basically this, this big area on which to, uh, to put your design. Now I was gonna use my 300 GSM cardstock, but actually uh, that's a lot more expensive and I don't need it this thick. So let's, uh, let's go down to 160 GSM and see. Now I've got a sheet of A3 cardstock here and I've got a sheet of A4. Now I could uh, just do a single one on A4 or I could get two out of A3. And uh, not ordinarily, I think I would just cut them out of A4 sheets simply because the A4 paper is a lot more, or is a lot cheaper uh, than A3 paper. But for today's demonstration, um, I will uh, get two uh, out of this sheet of A4, just so I can demonstrate how the, uh, the cutting works on a sheet of A3. Well, I'm not gonna mess about with screen capture software. I'm literally just pointing the camera at the screen. Hopefully you'll be able to see this, but it's about as simple as it gets. If I go down to here where it says shapes, uh, there we go, there's a circle. And I just select circle and it automatically drops uh, a circle onto the area. And I needed, was it 192 millimeters? So uh, 192, so that's 19.2 in diameter and that's classed as a basic cutout. So I've, I've instructed, I want a circle that's a basic cut, uh, and then all I need to do is go Control Copy and Control V, which is C and V, I want two circles. Uh, and then just click Make It. So all I've done is I've selected the material size and I've told it I'm gonna be cutting on a sheet of A3, and then what it's done is it's put uh, the two circles in one basic cut uh, on the mat. And I'll show you what the mat is all about now. Right then, let's just pop that out of the way. So this is the cry cut machine. And this is what does all the cutting. And I'm just gonna move it side on simply because when I put uh, this mat in, it's gonna need to slide through. And obviously I need uh, the table surface to do that. Now these are cutting mats and you've got several different uh, strengths. These are like sticky mats. And I've got one here, which is a standard grip. I've got one here, which is a light grip. And one here, which is a strong grip. And you use different grips for different materials that you're cutting. So for this card, I'm going to use a standard grip. I'm just gonna take the protective layer off of it. 
And then I'm going to stick my A3 card, let's do it that way around, uh, against the line here. Uh, there we go. And you can use, um, is this called a, a brayer? I think this is called, just to stick the card down to the mat, like so. And then I need to make sure I've got the right cutting tool. Now, for most cuts, uh, you've got like a, a light use blade. Um, this is a, a standard cutting blade that comes with the actual cutter. But for this, because this is, this is reasonably heavy duty card, I'm actually gonna use a deep cut blade, uh, which is just slightly different. It's, uh, it's got a, a, a sharper angle on it and it'll just do a, generally do a slightly better job on the cutting. So this is what's going to cut. And if I click continue, it'll uh, tell me to connect to the, uh, the machine. It's trying to connect via Bluetooth. And uh, let's just take a moment. Oh, <laughs> it does help if I turn it on. There we go, it's just connected. Okay, so it's now saying set your base material. It's asking me what I'm cutting uh, in this thing. Now, I could put cardstock but in the past, when I've put cardstock in there, it's got a little bit teary and a little bit rippy. Uh, so what I do when I'm cutting thick card is I use cereal box. Um, so if I click on cereal box, that's basically, I'm telling it the, the material that I'm using um, that it's gonna be cutting, it's cereal box. And then the pressure, I'm just gonna leave that at default. So it'll say, right, load tools and materials. So I don't need a tool in clamp A. And in clamp B, it says load the deep point blade in clamp B. Well, I've already done that. And then it says load the mat and press the uh, load unload button. So the paper or the card is already loaded onto the mat. Notice it just basically sticks on there. And then I'll just pop this in there. There's two little lugs that it, it slips under. Hold it straight and then press the load button. And now the fun begins. I hit the crack up button, the cricket button. <laughs> I will get that right. Watch this. So that's it, we just unload and it's job done. Now that the key to taking anything off a mat is you don't, you don't pull it up. I mean, you can do it with this because this is just a waste. Uh, this bit here, if I can get hold of the corner, this bit's waste, but anything you pull upwards off the mat gets a bit bent and a bit bendy. But that is the off cut and that goes into the recycling. And then in order to get these off and keep them flat, is you, you peel them off the mat upside down. So you literally turn the mat like so, and it just falls off uh, like that. Oop. There we go. And there we have uh, two paint spray uh, covers for our Lazy Susan. Perfect fit, exactly the size I wanted it. Now, obviously I've got to keep these on there somehow. So I've got some, little glue dots here and I might as well use those. I've got a, a roll of them here. There we go and we're good to go. Perfect. There we go. That's just the ticket. So there we go. Just a nice brief little video today. A uh, little introduction to the, uh, the Cricut machine and uh, obviously the spray booth. I'm gonna go off now and watch some training videos on how to airbrush, because I haven't got a clue at the moment. I've got lots of models that uh, need painting and I'm starting from scratch. I've never airbrushed before in my life, so that'll be my next task. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.